Are you tired of wasting hours creating subtitles for your videos? Look no further. In this video, I'll share an unbelievable trick to help you create subtitles or captions instantly. Whether you're a content creator or a business owner, this trick will save you time and effort. Say goodbye to the tedious task of adding subtitles and hello to a more efficient workflow. Let's dive into the video. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process of how I will create you know, the captions on a video, okay? So the subtitles, captions, whatever you wanna call them, right? I'm gonna go ahead in the title. So I'm gonna hit the title in here, Unlimited Print On Demand, Niche Ideas. I'm going to go ahead and start dragging and dropping the videos that I have right here. And it's gonna go ahead and start time, time well, transcribing everything for me. Okay, and you can see that it's working right here. You can see it's going. I'm gonna go ahead and add the other one. And and then one thing too that pops up right here. So you wanna add a speaker, just put say, you know, it's me, RJ. And then you can put like different language if you wanna do a language. I'm gonna do English for this example. Then I'm gonna hit done. And then I'm gonna just keep on adding the other videos. I have I, I have nine clips I should be adding into here. And it's transcribing each one. It's asking for the speaker's name for each one. Done. And you can see how fast it's doing it too as well. So this is a pretty easy process right you just got to drag and drop everything into here transcribing you can see the words are coming up everything that's popping i have all the videos in here just transcribing them all and i'll show you a few cool things after this gets done right here that you can do like easily with descript because descript is a very powerful tool you know and, and it's it's amazing how how fast you can edit and obviously you know add closed captions onto the screen and even just get the whole transcript as easy as copy and highlighting it all and pasting right which is crazy so and then it's doing all this for you which would take usually if it's something like this right obviously you can upload a youtube video and, and the google you know google will do this type of stuff for you too as well but like how it's doing it for you inside of here is very very powerful because you can literally trans transcribe everything in different languages too as well one cool thing too i like i like is you can see we have it says we have a one minute and 11 seconds okay that's how long you can see in the left hand corner right here a bottom left hand corner i'm gonna obviously chop that down below one minute because i'm gonna turn this into i'm gonna upload this to instagram reels facebook reels TikTok, pinterest uh, a few other places and, and just get this video up youtube youtube shorts right this is going to be one video for all those different platforms okay so keep that in mind and if you're not doing that something that you may want to test because on different platforms some of the videos get more reach than others that's just the way it works you know algorithms are different on different platforms some the audience all over here on this platform may like it better than this one you don't know right and this is more of a general type of content right it's not directed to one platform just that to keep that in mind so so we have everything set up let's say for example i just wanted to, i don't like i like what um Let's say I don't like a certain part. You see how I can highlight it? You can see how I'm hovering over the words. I can highlight something, right? So I can like click on that. If I click on this and hit delete on, on my keyboard, backspace, it will delete that part right there. You can see it chopped it out. But obviously, I, I want that part. So I'm going to come over here into the file and just do our control Z and undo. It's real simple. You see how easy that was? That's re really cool. A lot of the closed spaces too, you're going to see as the video goes along, you'll hear like if I do like this right here, there's some open space right here and I want to move it in. I can move it in to tighten it up a little bit. So it kind of moves the content a little faster, right? And we can save some, some seconds on that, some milliseconds and, you know, fix everything. But basically I'm going to go through this whole thing real fast and make sure everything's all edited, make sure everything's good. And then do, you know, the, the closed captions onto the screen so you guys can see exactly how it works. And also too, so I cleaned it up a little, I cleaned it up, got it to 58 seconds, right? There's a few other things I'm going to do with this video, but one th thing, cool thing is the audio, okay? Is you can just take the audio, so effects, audio effects, highlight a, a clip, audio repair, sound effects, and this will basically improve the audio and, you know, make it sound like that studio quality sound. If you don't have a good mic or you're just recording you know, with the mic in your, on your cell phone, because I recorded this video, as you can see, I recorded this video with my cell phone. Okay. So, so you, it basically cuts out all the background noise too, as well. So, which is really awesome too. So there's a few different things that the script can do, but I'm just showing you some of the basic things that I'm doing personally, as I'm trying to put the closed captions on this video when I get it all finalized and stuff, but listen to it one more time. Did you know you can use chat GTP to come up with unlimited print on demand niche ideas? So, so I applied that the studio to that right there, the studio, you know, the, the studio sound. So for example, I'm Let me see. top 10 hobbies in the world and hit in. So it, there was a little background noise right there. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but there was some background noise. There was some background noise with this clip, this part right here, this clip. And what I'm going to do is just highlight this. Okay. And then I'm going to go audio effects and then I'm going to go audio repair and I'm going to put studio. I'm going to do that for every single one. Okay. I'm going to apply the studio to every single one and it's going to make it more crisp, more clean. And that's, that's freaking awesome because that's just saves a ton of time as you're, you know, making these type of videos. 
and also and one of the, now that the, your viewer right is watching it on the other side it's powerful because it's like audio is one of the most important things but if you can tune it and make it sound crisp clean for the viewer boom it's gonna you know create more engagement hopefully and get you more reach on your video and i'm gonna do that with every single clip and you see how fast it's doing it okay it's applying it you can see how it's doing one by one by one by one all right so i have everything done got it to 58.9 seconds and what I'm gonna do is just highlight the whole transcript right here, okay? And then I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna hit insert or you can hit control shift K, okay, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is type in captions, right? Um, well, I typed in captions and this pops up right here. You're gonna hit captions, all right, and boom, it's gonna pop it up on the screen, okay? Now, on the right-hand side over here, you can add like the different, you know, different fonts. So they have their own fonts over here. You can even add your own fonts. I recommend you go to thefont.com and you can, there's a ton of different fonts over there that you can use. Let me show you that right now. All right, if you come over here to thefont.com, you, see, you can see that there's a ton of different fonts that you can download and this is a free website that you can use different fonts on. Okay, and then you would basically just come over and pack over here to Descript and then click on the font, add fonts to drive and so on and so forth. But, uh, so after you highlighted it, everything and you added your captions, you can click on, so you know, the words on the screen right here, I, I can move them wherever I want, right? And you can see how it has that little placeholder, that little line in the middle of the screen, or if I get closer to the left or right, you can, you can see it does that. But when you do that, you pop up a little right hand tab over here on the right hand side of Descript, right? And you can obviously, after you pick your text or your font, right? You can resize the font right here. Let's say you don't want 130, you want 150, right? And based on that, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna edit the screen. I mean, edit the text on the screen. You can see that. So if I put 120, see that but if i put 150 there's less words on the screen so let's say if i put 130 120 seems to be good right and then the fill okay you can see right here so you can mess with the fill you can see what i'm messing with right there i'm just going to keep it at white and you can see it has that yellow too by the way the border okay and we're going to get to that yellow part right there but the border you can see right here so if you want to mess with the border let's say you want to add you know 30 and that's basically the outline of the text you can see 30 let's say you want to add 50 right you're just gonna get thicker and thicker just keep it at 30 okay in the background i have it at transparent okay let's you just move everything to the side right here or you can pick the little you know anything down right here you can see the, the color information that it has there and then you want to come over here what you want to do next is come over here click on this you're going to hit the live text so for example live text okay hit the live text see that plus button hit the plus button right there and then come to captions and then so if you don't have active words it's going to be blank like this you're going to hit active words and then the fill is the yellow that's that part right there okay as you can see so what you're going to do is pick whatever color you want you know but i like that yellow looks it kind of stands out on the screen a little bit and then when you're at, when you put active words right active word basically what happens when we hit play you're going to see the yellow is going to follow along so, working and give me 10 more ideas with what I'm saying on the screen. So that yellow, that yellow is following along with what I'm saying on the screen, which kind of just, it makes it, you know, stand out even more, right? Which is really, really awesome. Now, let's say you want to add in some emojis, right? Emojipedia.org. Okay, I've been using this website for, since I've been making social media posts on the internet. So I want to say like five, six years, probably a little bit longer, maybe seven. Let's say like you want to put like, let's say for a t-shirt or, or Let's put, let's put t-shirt. Okay, let's do t-shirt first and then we can do like a reading book. So let's take t-shirt. I'm going to copy that right there. You see how I did that? I'm going to come back over here to descript. Okay. And then instead of, instead of the word t-shirt, right? Let's say I, want, I don't want to use the t-shirt. I'm going to hit this and put that emoji. Correct. So we just change out that, right? You can see what I did right there, right? For example, one of the top 10 hobbies in the world. So reading right here. Okay. You see the word reading, right? And we can just come over here to type in like books. Okay. Let's take some books. Let's come over here and get the books. Let's take these ones, copy that right there. And we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna correct, boom, put the books in there. Okay, so. Copy right here, reading. Then I'll use this prompt right here. 10 funny reading t-shirt design ideas. And hit enter. 10 funny reading t-shirt ideas. I read past my bedtime. Books are my happy. So putting the emojis in there will kind of make it more engaging, right? Which is really cool. So that's one way to do that. This website is a time saver because there's all kinds of different emojis that you can use with inside of here, okay? And uh, based off of that, there's 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 a lot that can be. So let's say like a light bulb. Okay, I'm just thinking of different ideas that I can add into here. Light bulb. All right, boom. Right. Let's say I want to use. Come back over here to the script. Instead of the word ideas, I just want to put a light bulb in there. Right. Okay. Or I can just even add it at the end too. So let's say correct. Let's do that. So let's put ideas. 
inside there. Ideas. Okay. Did you know you can use chat GTP to come up with unlimited print on demand niche idea? So for well, example. Right. So I don't know, it's pretty much to say I'm done with that right there. I could probably add a few more in there, but I think this is good. This is perfect. And then I can come over here to publish right here on the right hand corner. And then you hit export and you hit export. I have the paid version for this too as well. There's a free version too as well that you can use. I'll hit export and then I'll export in, you know, obviously the different resolutions right here that I have. Okay. And boom, it's done. All right, guys. So if you're not following me over here on Instagram at RJ Hustles, go over there and follow me. I post reels over here, the ones that I'm creating with the script. You can see one got 456 hearts, 40 comments, 280 hearts, 26 comments. 150 hearts 10 comments okay this is the one that i created in the video right here and i'll have my instagram down below in the description so you can go check that out but you can see this is the Did one right here that i created GTP to come up with unlimited all right unlimited. so it's getting some engagement every single piece of content that i created with the script vertical format and using you know the text on the screen you can see that the, you know the engagement that it's getting and you can see this is a screenshot from the recent one that i did in this video you can see 150 hearts almost 3,000 plays 10 comments 21 shares and 150 saves which is really good and yeah and if you got any value out of this video make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up thank you very much for watching